In this cap, we will review some key terms and concepts that are foundational to understanding the alphabetic principle. We will identify two big ideas about the alphabetic principle that you need to know. First, the alphabetic principle is the bridge between early phonological awareness and learning to read. And second, it's essential that children get a good grasp on the alphabetic principle so that the explicit phonics instruction they'll receive will be beneficial to helping them learn to read. In other words, if there's a gap at this level, phonics instruction is not likely to be very effective. Before we define new terms and information, let's review some of the things that you've previously learned about phonological awareness. Phonological awareness is the name for a broad set of skills that includes the ability to identify and manipulate many different units of oral language. Those units are words, syllables, onsets and rhymes, and phonemes. A syllable always has at least one vowel and may or may not contain consonants also. Onset is the sound that comes before the first vowel in a word. In the word bat, the b sound is the onset. Rhyme is the first vowel sound in a word plus whatever comes after it. In the word bat, the at sound is the rhyme. Phonemes are the smallest units of speech sound. Phonemic awareness is the specific skill that involves the ability to pick out and manipulate individual phonemes in words. Now that we've finished our review, let's go over some new information. The terms that we'll define are alphabetic principle, graphemes, mapping, and phonics. First up is the definition for the alphabetic principle. The alphabetic principle is knowing that speech sounds and letters link to one another. Here is an example. Imagine asking a young child this question. If the child can correctly make the er sound when asked what sound the letter R makes, then he or she has probably grasped the alphabetic principle. But the alphabetic principle has to be understood in both directions, not just letters to sounds, but also sounds to letters. So if you ask the child which letter sounds like g as in girl, he or she should be able to name or point to the letter G. Next, graphemes. You may recall this term from earlier content. Graphemes are printed or visual symbols that represent phonemes. Letters in the English alphabet are graphemes. Mapping is the ability to accurately match phonemes to graphemes. This skill is also called phoneme-grapheme correspondence. The reason that graphemes are so important in the alphabetic principle is the concept of mapping. The 44 phonemes or sounds in English map onto the 26 graphemes or letters or combinations of letters in the English alphabet. Here's a visual representation of what we mean by mapping phonemes onto graphemes. On the top row, you see sound wave patterns for each phoneme in the word brick. Then in the second row, there's a grapheme connected to each of those phonemes. If we spell the word brick phonetically, this is what it looks like. Finally, in the third row, we've connected both phonemes and graphemes onto the letters that actually spell the word brick. Notice that we use the letter C in the spelling of the word brick but phonetically, this word uses a, an ending consonant blend and only the k sound is pronounced. Once children understand how to do this and can begin to associate phonemes with the correct graphemes, they are mastering the alphabetic principle. The last term that we'll define in this video is phonics. This term refers to a teaching method that helps students relate spoken sounds to written symbols or phonemes to graphemes. In other words, teaching phonics means teaching letter-sound relationships. This graphic should help you organize your previous and your new knowledge about phonological awareness and the alphabetic principle. It shows the progression of phonological awareness skills from the simplest and earliest at the bottom of the pyramid to the most complex and later skills at the top of the pyramid. Remember that although this sequence occurs in most children, the time that a child spends in any one skill area before progressing to the next will vary greatly from child to child. The earliest and simplest skill in phonological awareness is hearing oral rhymes and alliteration. This occurs early on in the child's language acquisition and development. As the child's oral language develops further and his or her phonological awareness expands, the skills that he or she acquires become more complex. 
When the child can identify phonemes and match them to letters, aka the alphabetic principle, then he or she is likely ready for phonics instruction. Now let's review what we've covered in this video. We provided definitions and examples for these terms, alphabetic principle, graphemes, mapping, and phonics. Remember these two big ideas about the alphabetic principle and its role in the development of phonological awareness. We demonstrated the alphabetic principle by looking at how phonemes map onto graphemes. And last, we saw how the progression of phonological awareness skills culminates in grasping the alphabetic principle and prepares children for explicit phonics instruction. This sequence of skills will be covered more in depth in later videos in this series. That's all for this topic. Thanks for watching.